to do it. Hello and welcome back everybody to the news that doesn't suck. If you are new to the program, here we cover all the news stories that you don't get to hear in regular media to give you a dose of positivity. Yes. So, I have uh, three quick stories that we can jump through, and um, that, that's, uh, that's it. That's all I have. I yeah. have three quick stories. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to get into these here. Um, so, news is a, it was a little scarce, mm-hmm. but I did manage to dig up a couple of interesting uh, little things. Okay. Um, uh, starting off with Nebraska, actually, um, pa- or declined, I should say, declined a bill that would have raised um, interest rates on payday loans up to 404%. Oh, gosh. Payday loans are already rough, but um, there has been a, a recent... Uh, um, a recent shift where um, certain companies have been trying to influence bills and uh, slip little things in there. Well, I'm glad that they denied that so, because that's astronomically uh, crazy. There was a, there was a big poll and uh, from from all the voters in Nebraska, and um, everyone was so massively outspoken against it that they um, yeah it didn't it didn't go through so. Congrats to Nebraska standing up for standing up for themselves. Um, on a worldwide thing, um, apparently, in the past twenty five years, um, there has been a very very noticeable uh, jump in general education rates mm-hmm. for women across the world. Oh wow! Uh, so much so that the number of women actually enrolled in universities have tripled That's in the last 25 years, which is groundbreaking um, and is pushing to end the oppression of the female gender. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, massive, massive progress has been made in a lot of uh, third world countries and a lot of areas where, um, you know, more traditionalist beliefs have repressed women for so long. That's so, really awesome. Yeah. People standing up for women. It's awesome. Um, and the uh, last thing I found is uh, Virgin, the mm-hmm. same people that do like Virgin Mobile and all that. Yes. Uh, they've been working on a new train. Train. Okay. Train, sort of. It's a type of maglift train. Maglift. Okay. I using, don't know what that is. So maglift trains are using magnetic oh, yes. to... Literally the one, float yeah, the, the ones, train, yeah, I know and what they you're can move about. insanely fast. Yeah, the ones that aren't, they don't, because they don't have any friction with yep. the ground. So after 400 tests, mm-hmm. they've finally done their first passenger test and had it run flawlessly. Wonderful. Um, and they're projecting that it uh, once the commute opens up and everything, it would be about 30 minutes to get from D.C. to New York. Wow, 30 minutes? 30 minutes to get from D.C., all the way to New York. That's ridiculous. Insane. That's going to change the way that people do a lot of things and where people get jobs as well. Yeah, I know. Like, that would open up so, so much stuff to so many people, so many yes. opportunities from that. So that's absolutely incredible. If you guys want to follow up on that, though, it's called the Virgin Hyperloop. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, that's and, so exciting. Yeah. And that's all I have, guys. That's uh, the news. That doesn't suck. And a uh, little reminder to all of you that not all news sucks. Mm-hmm. Have a great day, guys. Hi.